Well, good morning, family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed Wednesday because Grammy's having a wonderful, blessed Wednesday. This has been a week for car roulette for me and my husband. <laughs> my van wouldn't crank. He boosted it off. He thought he had his truck running, drained his truck battery. Thank goodness he was in his work truck, so he boosted both of them off, got them running. I drove my van to, a van to work. Drove it to the bank, went around, did all the things I had to do, come back home, and it wouldn't crank again. I'm telling you, God is good. I was never stranded. It always would never crank when it was in the driveway. And so he, uh, we have a little extra car, so I got in the little extra car, drove it around, and then he finally went and got a battery, got it put on there, got me back working in my car. Tilly's a barking in the background. But anyway, got me back going in my in my van, and the very next morning, the car had a flat on it. <laughs> it was just a day. It was just like, get in this car, it don't work, but you get in the other one, it works. Then you get, get back home, get in the one that works, and that one don't. <laughs> Something goes on that one. But I'm telling you, we were never stranded. That's a miracle to me. We were never stranded, never had a flat out. It was in the driveway. Car never started out. It was in the driveway. So, I mean, it was always where we were at home and we had a charger. We had a thing to blow up the tire. I mean, the Lord is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. Now, this week we're going to be talking about Mount Sinai. And I'm going to be sharing some pictures afterward. And I'm going to do some scripture over the top of those. Because I think that that's so amazing when you can see it and then you hear the word. Seeing and hearing the word of God. Isn't that wonderful? But I want to share something with you guys now. When I do, when I say this, I do not consider myself a prophet. I'm just an ordinary person, just like you guys. I, I'm not called to prophet. I'm not called to minister. I'm called to encourage. I, and and I do have maybe some discernment, some other, uh, some of the other gifts. I'm very careful about what I say I have because I only have it through God anyway. So, but I want to tell you something. Back in February. I was in my my recliner, and it was uh, the little grandkids had come over, and uh, I kind of just kind of dozed off. They were asleep, but I just kind of sat in my chair and kind of just dozed. And it was like that point right before you wake up when you can hear what's on the TV. I had some Perry Stone playing, and I was listening to Perry Stone, and I was asleep, and I was kind of like that little twilight area that you're in in sleep. And all of a sudden, I had this, it's just like somebody had turned a movie on in my mind, and I could see it. And I saw this uh, city with gold domes. And, um, and, I, and then I seen, it's like I was standing in a window, and it was an arch window, and I could look down and see the city with the gold, golden domes, golden-like city. There was domes everywhere. I just called it a gold city because I didn't know what I was looking at. And then I, next thing, I was above the earth and I could see things being dropped down upon it. And I wasn't for sure what I was seeing because I'm not, I don't have a lot of visions. I've had dreams and a few things that's, that supernaturally has happened to me through my life. And so then I won't tell this next part because I don't feel like it's what God wants me to share. So I'm not going to say what I saw. But then I saw the city and it was on fire. And uh, it didn't dawn on me what I was looking at. I wrote it in my dream journal my and uh, wrote it down. And the other day I was uh, listening to something and I felt... Um, led to look up pictures of Ukraine and uh, I will show because I'm not a geographical person I haven't traveled much so I don't know what's out there you ask me what's in the south I can tell you but I can't tell you what happens in Ukraine and uh, Italy or or any of those places like that I do know a lot about uh the Holy Land from from all of my studies, but not really visually because I haven't visually been there. So I'm going to share this with you. It was on February the 6th, and we know that at the end of February, Russia invaded Ukraine. So this is what I just wrote down. I just wrote down a golden city. Uh, something was dropped from above the earth, and there was a fire. And, the, and it was on fire. I just kind of like take notes because then that lets me remember what I saw. 
And that was on February, uh, February the 6th. And so I never thought about it being Ukraine. But when I went to look up, they have a church that has golden domes. And uh, there was a picture. It didn't catch it. It didn't burn. But it was full of smoke and it was on fire all around it. And when I seen that picture, I was floored. I was amazed. God had showed me Ukraine being invaded. Now, I'm not a news watcher, so I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't even know that there was issues really going on with Russia or Ukraine um, until it happened, until right before it happened. And so um, I'm telling you, we are in the end of times. God is pouring his spirit out upon all flesh. And your old man's going to dream dreams. Your young man's going to have visions. And then he's going to even pour out his spirit upon all handmaidens. That's us. So he's using everybody. And so get in. Hold on to God. And um, he's going to start showing us things. Trouble's going to come, but we're going to know it before it hits. Because God never lead, never sends us into something that he don't go before us. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you this morning. It was amazing to me. And I, I thought about sharing that dream with you guys because I, I pretty much share everything with you, but I didn't feel led. I didn't feel like it was what I needed to, to share, but I did share it with multiple people. So I have witnesses. I shared it with my husband that morning. Uh, I told uh, three or four people that come in the library uh, and that are at the library. Either I work with them or they come in the library. And I told my brother and my mom and... Um, so I do have witnesses that I did have the dream and um, I did write it down in my dream journal. And so it's amazing. And like I said, I'm nothing, I'm nothing but, but by God. And so I give God the praise and the glory for showing me the danger that was coming. I just didn't have enough to interpret it at the time, but it was not for that time. It's always, God is always on time. So whenever he wanted me to realize that that's what he was showing me, but he wants our faith to be strong. He wants us to have repentance, have faith and believe in him and that these times of trouble that are coming. So now we're going to look at these pictures of Mount Sinai. This is probably going to be a short encouragement today. And so I just want to tell you that I filmed you guys a wonderful video this weekend. It was wonderful. It was probably a good 30 minutes of being outside in a chicken coop, showing you what I was growing in the garden, just having a wonderful time. And I got back in to edit it and realized that I had never hit record. <laughs> I was just in the yard talking to myself. So I've just been having, <laughs> I've just been having fog brain a little bit. So, but anyway, we're going to get there. We're going to get where we are having good videos and we are doing things again. If you guys will just be patient and just love me, just love me. I will surely be here every Wednesday for sure. And so, but like I said, my plans were to take you out in the yard, show you my little greenhouse that Harold bought me. And I'm going to do that. We're going to do that this weekend. Uh, if it will quit raining, we've got a guy that's a friend of my husband that's going to come over and turn our garden over with his tractor, and the good tiller. And then we have our little tiller that we're going to work. And I'm going to do some videoing for you if I can keep the wind from blowing over the tripod. And, uh, <laughs> you know. But anyway, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this encouragement. Like I said, I'm going to have some pictures on here. We're going to have some scripture over the top of it. It's going to be wonderful because God is amazing and he's doing amazing things in his children. So if you guys have had any dreams, if you've had any visions, if God's had done anything supernatural for you, share them in the comments below because I sure do love to read that. I love to have good conversations about what the Lord's doing in his people and his children because God is good. He is good. I'm just going to tell you he's good all the time. So stay tuned for the these pictures, and I love you. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nene. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at neither part of the mount, and Mount Sinai was altogether on smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke therefore ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered by 
answered him by a voice, and the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount, and the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. Hallelujah. He came down. And this is a picture of Mount Sinai this day, still blackened. This is an altar that the children of Israel had Aaron erect to the golden calf. There is a picture of the golden calf on the side of it. I believe it's been scratched off, but this is at the base of the mountain. The children of Israel was scared because Moses had been delayed speaking to God on top of the mountain. And our next image is the altar that Moses built unto the Lord with the slaughtering platform. And this is an aerial view. And there are 12 pillars representing the 12 tribes of Israel. I hope you enjoyed this. You guys be blessed. I love you. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nene. I'm praying for you.